Today we're going to be breaking down the best run defense in Madden 25. This defense is super effective uh, against the run. It's also pretty good against the pass, too. It's got a nice little disengage. We actually dropped a full ebook um, on this defense in our school community. If you're not a member of the school community, uh, I'll put a link to that in the description below. For just $10, you can get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks for both Madden and for College Football 25. Now, this is very quickly becoming one of my favorite ways to play defense in this game. This is at a 4-3 over. This is in the Jets playbook, and we are going to be in this cover four quarters uh, defense. The reason quarters is good is it's going to play match concepts um, if they pass the ball, but it's also going to play uh, the run really well. We're going to actually show you how to set this up. So what I like to do uh, when I'm playing this defense is I'm going to put my curl flats on five. I'm going to put my flats on 25. And you could put your hooks on five. You don't have to. Uh, but the reason why I like to do this is because if I ever want to play some coverage, I have the flats. And we could just double flat or double Mabel out of this. But we also have these curl flats on five. And when they're on the quarter flats, the quarter flats are super good in this game. So uh, what you're going to see here is the setup for the run defense is we're going to pinch our D-line. We're going to slant them inside. We're going to spread our linebackers. And then what I want you to do is walk these guys out just a little wider than they are. And then you can just get back on this middle linebacker and that's gonna be your user. And you're gonna see here that there's just, there's just not very many options in terms of their ability to run the ball. Whether it's from shotgun, whether it's from under center, you're gonna see here that by moving these guys out wider, it's just gonna help kind of keep that edge. If you want to press, you can do that. If you wanna bring these safeties down, you can do that. I know that's a lot of moving and stuff, but in general, like you see here, I mean, they're just, that's just not a great way to run the ball on this look. Again, just pinch, uh, slant your D-line inside, spread your linebackers. You can slide them out like this. Here we got a little run play, a run, and you see here again, you see how they just kind of like hold the edge really well. And without this, regardless of the spin, like the spin is a good ball carry move. It's really the only ball carry move that I would recommend in this game. This is, um, this is going to be just fine. So you see here, we're just kind of reading the run, and you see, I mean, every run has been – basically bagged in the backfield. It doesn't matter if it's from a shotgun. It doesn't matter if it's from under center. It doesn't matter um, if it's a read option play. It, it really just doesn't matter. You see here, um, we're just able to shoot the gaps really well with our user or just simply flow to the ball carrier. And then with the pinch slant inside, it really just does a really good job of kind of muddying up any internal run. You'll see here, just kind of looking like a run to the right, come over, we get that ideal timing on the hit stick. And, you know, you just see, I mean, we're just able to stop some of the best runs in the game. Now, what I also wanted to do was uh, just cover real quickly with you how I defend read option. So the best way to defend read option is to put this option defense on conservative. And that's going to stop the majority of option plays that you're going to uh, that you're going to, to play. So let me see if I go to trips. I'll just go to basic read option here. So essentially what's going to happen is this defensive end is always going to option or the read key defender is always going to option the quarterback. Oh, you'll see here, they're just going to have to hand that off. And then you're just right there to make that tackle. Now we got to actually make the tackle, but we did break the, break the tackle, but normally, you know, you're going to be there just to make the tackle. So they're never going to really be able to keep the ball at the quarterback. It's not like college football where the triple option, super OP, you know, you can just basically shoot in. And uh, for some reason, it's just not it, – sometimes in practice mode, it can be a little buggy with two controllers. So let's see if we can actually just get this for you one more time, and then we'll talk a little bit more about um, defending RPOs out of this. So you see here, just shoot through, and there you see we defend it. So the reason this is also really good against RPOs is because of the built-in principles of the Cover 4 defense. If you guys didn't know, Cover 4 – has both of these safeties in the run fits, which is really advantageous to defending things like RPOs. This is why this is the most popular defense in real life. So you're going to see here, if I try to throw this RPO out here, then you should be able just to essentially get over there and play it. Now, the trips RPO, in my opinion, is probably the best RPO in the game. And so all we need to do to stop this, if we were to play this, is we're just going to man up the RPO with that linebacker. And then we can, you know, kind of if we wanted to, we could just man up the, the middle trips receiver while we're at it. And you're going to see here that now they're never really able to do that. And then, again, it's just going to be kind of a gap shoot at that point. We're just going to have this actually shoot the gap with our user. But in general, quarters is going to do normally a pretty good job, especially if you widen these guys out. One thing you can do this year that you weren't able to do last year is just by basically pass committing, that quarter will actually – that, that flat zone 
will get out there a little bit better than it does otherwise. But in general, with trips this year, I think the easiest way to stop RPOs is just to man him up to the bubble screen guy. And then, of course, you know, you're, you know, you're going to need to kind of complete the coverage. Maybe do something like something like this is actually really good against trips um, because you have that that deep flat, and then you have this underneath stuff. And again, if you want to press, you can actually press this year with hard flats, and they're going to they're going to play really good. But you'll see here if I try to throw this. Normally, he's going to play pretty decently against it. I will say the Trips RPO is really probably the best one, in my opinion. Most of the other RPOs are just going to be able to be stopped with the shade outside and a pass commit. Let me get into um, let me get into this under center stuff. So another one of the best runs in the game every year is Stretch. How does this do against Stretch? It's going to do really good against Stretch because, again, you have this wide angles of these D linemen or of these, uh, of these outside backers, and then you're just going to basically be able to float with ball carrier and make the tackle into the backfield. So whether they run stretch, the other cool part about this defense is it is a symmetrical defense. So if they want to run stretch to the right or stretch to the left, it really doesn't matter for your purposes. So you see here, we see stretch to the left. You see how they're going to hold that contain, and then we're going to be able to play really, really good run defense, right? Um, so so there's just this is just a very, very, very effective run defense in general it's a great pass defense because the pinch slant inside is going to get really good disengages and then you see here we're not able to actually make the tackle there pretty bad user but you can pretty much basically shoot whatever gap it is that you want to be able to defend whatever run it is that they're doing um let me show you one other one let's see if i have a bubble screen in this wing slot i think i do let's actually go over this bubble screen real quick so again I really like just pass committing and uh, shading outside if there is a threat of a bubble screen. You see here, see how he plays it much better when it's done at trips. If it's a two wide receiver bubble screen, that quarter flat's going to play it a thousand times better than if it is a trips bubble screen. Just from personal experience, that's kind of what I've seen uh, so far this year. Uh, one of the best runs in the game is this wing tight out of Colts, and this is the stretch that everybody's using to score in the red zone. We'll see how this uh, basically plays it. Essentially, they're going to run it, and you'll see here, we're just going to kind of shoot in with our user. Got to be a little bit better with my user there. It's a little bit difficult with two controllers, but just got to make that tackle. But you see, we're able to be in position uh, to basically take this away. And again, I love to just bring these guys outside. If you want to, like in this situation, maybe you have a hook curl, you certainly could do that. This side gets bagged up, and you see there, we just got to make tackle, but we're, we're right there, right? You see what I'm saying? So... This, to me, is probably the best all-around, do-everything run defense in the game. If they're running on you, this is going to be pretty decent. And the run is not super powerful this year. Um, I will say, at least as of right now, there's not like a great ball carrier move that makes the run OP. The sheds are pretty good in the run game, and most of the defenses are – Pretty, pretty fundamentally sound against a run from an alignment perspective. So in general, this is the best way, in my opinion, to stop the majority of the runs that you're going to face with having to do really the least amount of possible. You're just kind of flowing to the ball carrier and cleaning everything up. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about the 4-3 over defense and you want to get better on defense in general, make sure that you join our school community. We have all of our full offensive and defensive ebooks in there fully updated. We're always updating the school community with new content. So if you're not a member yet, make sure that you join. The link is going to be down in the description below.